In this how-to video, we will show how easy it is to provision storage to a VMware ESXi cluster. The OpsTinner administrator workflow we will be using is the server create, attach, and protect workflow. Let's start from the OpsTinner administrator dashboard and drill down into servers. From here, Let's search for our ESXi prod cluster and select all nodes in the cluster. Now that we've selected all the nodes in the cluster, let's start the create, attach, and protect volumes with local replication wizard. The first step in the workflow is to create volumes. Let's create two volumes for two separate data stores, one on the platinum tier and one on the gold tier. Here we've created a first volume on the Platinum tier, 30 terabytes in size. The Ops Center administrator could have selected the pool automatically, but we chose to select it manually. Let's move on to the second volume. We've made this volume the same size, although this time we've selected a pool on the Gold tier. The next step in the workflow is to attach these settings. If we click Auto Create Zone, OpsCenter Administrator will create zones on our behalf and greatly simplify the overall process. Here though, we'll assume the customer or the administrator has already taken care of zoning outside of OpsCenter Administrator. The next step in the workflow is to create paths between servers and target ports. Let's manually go in and set the paths ourselves. The last step in the workflow is to protect the volumes we are provisioning. Here, we can choose to do nothing, or set up a snapshot schedule, let's say daily, with a retention of 7, and set a replication group name. Now, we can go ahead and submit. And very easily, we have created volumes, attached them to servers, and protected them all in one workflow. We can see the job in process. Clicking the job, we can see that the job was successful. Navigating back to the server inventory and drilling down into one of the nodes, we can verify that each of the volumes, one on gold, and one on Platinum have been provisioned. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.